Hey everybody, what's up? It's been a while. It's been uh, quite a while. It's actually been, let's see, uh, how long since my last video? It has been 82 days and 17 hours. So, I figured I'd throw something at you guys today since it's been so long. Um, I've been working. I haven't been filming, but I've been working. Hard to tell because, uh, well, it's all black. And try to uh, a little bit of light. The camera's dirty. Firewall is complete. Now, it uh, probably looks good on camera, but it's not perfect. It's got some dings and dents, and it's really from where it was welded from the inside. The heat just penetrated it. But you know what? I don't care. This is not a show truck. I've said that over and over again. It's not a show truck. Fire panels are on. Fiberglass, some Bondo, seam sealed. Um, painted semi-gloss black. Looks great. Painted the underneath of the cab with some rubberized undercoating. Um, we've, been, we've been working. Got the inside sprayed. New seam sealer, um, patched a huge hole that was in the floor. Don't worry about the welds, all right? Don't worry about the welds. Um, all seam sealed all in there, sprayed. Yeah, um, that little patch I had to throw in there. We have been working. Let me bring you, bring you over here. Got the... The brake lines are all secured. I should say the brake line, just the one from the rear to the front. Um, it's all secured. Got a new proportioning valve. I know a lot of people put them up by the master cylinder, um, but this is where it was when I got the truck. I want to leave it the way it was, just easier membering, membering, remembering. Um, engine trans in. Crossover pipe, I literally just finished bolting that up and I was like, I forgot that I was charging my GoPro and wanted to film today. Um, crossover pipe is in. I put some, just in case, some ultra copper gasket, gasket, I can't talk today, gasket maker exhaust. Just a thin coat on all the all the V-bands just to be safe. Um, I let them tack up for a couple minutes, bolted that thing up. Um, end of the day, I'll go through and tighten everything again. Um, yeah, didn't paint the transmission. Uh, you're not going to see it. I don't care. It's not a show truck. Uh, what else have I done? What else have I done? Um, oh, so I had some parts come in. Um, I got a fuel pressure regulator. I don't remember what I even talked about in the last video. I have a Motion Raceworks, no plug, um, fuel pressure regulator mount, um, bracket mount thing. So what it does is it, I'll show you. So it bolts to the front of your timing cover and puts, puts it right, uh, right here. Hard to tell. Puts it right here. And then with that, you can run the return right underneath the intake, all that fun stuff. Well, fortunately, I went to go mock it up and uh, the Holly mid-rise intake that I have wouldn't allow a return line to fit underneath the intake. So I hemmed and I hawed. And if you remember from any of my other videos, um, the intake that I have is a um, actually for a square port for like LS3, I think. Um, square port. And I got these adapters from Dirty Dingo to go from square port to cathedral port. So that added, you know, three quarters of an inch. Um, it it would have worked, but it would have been crappy and my steam port kit wouldn't have fit. And long story short, I bought a new lower. I bought a high rise lower. All right, I did it. Yeah, I know. Come at me. Um, if you want to buy my mid my mid rise without a top, I will gladly sell it to you. 
Um, I also got a Motion Braceworks 105 millimeter. Is 105 or 102? 102. I'm losing my mind. 102 millimeter um, throttle body. Did I need to spend that much money? No, but we're here. A lot of quality parts in this build. I want to keep it that way. Um, another thing I've been working on is my wastegate placement. So the Dirty Dingo wastegate um, is built into the manifold, which I'm not really a big fan of where it is. It just sticks straight up. Um, it's, I'm just not a fan of it. I mean, it's will it work? Yeah, it'll work. But I just don't like it. So I Motion Race works again, but their V band flange thing, flange, just flange. Um, this piece, motion. So what we're going to do is boom, just like that. Wastegate's going to come off of there. Turbo will be next to it. So I'm going to have my buddy TIG weld that. I was supposed to drop it off last Monday. It is currently Saturday. And he still doesn't have it. So I got to get that to him next week. But yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. This video is going to be kind of short. But I think, I think I am ready to put this back on there. I think we're ready. Um, other thing, I got a Circle D converter. That is, has been installed, properly shimmed, some fluid in it, got some fluid in the trans for the time being. Um, yeah, I've just been doing a, a ton of work off camera. I just really haven't been in the mood to film. I just want to buckle down, get stuff done. Um, I think that's about it for updates. I don't have any new parts. I don't think... Um, yeah, just little stuff here and there. Um, but yeah, I think in this video, we're ready to put this cab onto this chassis. Um, yeah, what do you say? Clean up the garage a little bit, make a little bit of room, get out my engine hoist, show you guys how I lift this cab on and off this frame. Now, I've never done it when it's on these blocks, so hopefully I have enough room to go up and over. Um, but we'll see. All right, that's eight minutes of me rambling. Let me get the garage cleaned up and uh, get you guys set up on the tripod. And let's put this cab on this chassis. By the way, almost 400 subscribers. Thank you guys. Only a couple more, and we'll hit 400. That'll be awesome. All right. Didn't really clean up much, but got the cab lined up with the truck. Now we just need to pick it up. Put it over there. I'm just kidding. All right. So I built this contraption five years ago from the internet. Basically, if you don't know what it is, this is the exact or just about close to the width of the cab. What it does is as this bolts on to the end of the hoist and you just Jack it up, slide it in, set it down. It's not that easy. Last time I put a dent in my beautiful rocker panel. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to remember which way I had this thing going. I think it's like this, just like this way. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get you guys set up on the tripod. We'll get this thing up onto the hoist, get it in the cab. And we'll see how easy this is. I'm a mess. Come on. What are you doing here? Oh. All right. 
put a nut on for safety. You know this thing's a foot long. All right, so there you have it. Now it's on. Now, uh, so what it does is it goes like this, and then it picks it up. So looks a little weird, but trust me, it works. Let me uh, set this thing back down. All right, move the tripod Put it like here. All right, that should be good. And then we get you guys right in there. All right. Just like that. It was right in there. <sighs> All right. So, as you can see, It's right over there. And then it's right there. So it fits right in between, well, not in between, but on the outside of the cab. Um, fix this tripod here. So basically, now what I do, well, what I do, um, you could technically just lift this thing up and it'd be good, but I like to be safe. I do, I know you can't see me. But I I like to be safe to put a strap on it. So, got the rat strap on there, got that where I want it. Now it does pick it up, it doesn't pick it up flat, it picks it up a little, little like that. Um, but it'll be fine. So, now I'll just move you guys over here. And we'll watch the cab come up. Nice and slow, right? Nice and slow. can tell but as it's coming up it's coming back towards the um, the engine hoist which isn't ideal but
All right, so as you can tell, we're up pretty high. I gotta get my stand out of the bottom of this thing, which I didn't take into consideration, to be honest with you. So, also the idiot that built the stand only put spinning wheels on two of the four corners, so it's a pain in the butt. Now that's out of the way, all I gotta do is make sure I'm gonna clear the frame. Make sure we're gonna clear the frame and uh, not hit the lights or the roof. So I'm gonna move this cart out of the way a little more. Try to get you guys a better view. All right, you guys got a good view. All right, we're already almost high enough, so I think we're gonna be okay. All right, I think we're high enough. Now we're just gonna roll it. Fortunately, my garage is sloped for drains, so that's why I just kind of took off there. Um, but All right. Obviously, we got to come back a little bit. So it's the beauty of the engine hoist. Um, I think we're not bad you have to go back a little bit obviously I don't suggest walking under this thing it's obviously tough for one person to do there's no doubt about that um, trying to get this over Oh, that's pulling me up. All right, let's see. I don't think we're doing too bad over there. Getting there, let's go down a little more. We're down on something on the other side. I don't know if it's the cab mount. Oh yeah. So it's gotta come back a little bit actually. There we go, something like that. There we go, all right. We'll come down a little more. All right, and that's that. That seems so easy, didn't it? Um, biggest thing now is I'm gonna have to take all of this off and then move the cab around by hand to get it to line up when, um, for when it comes time to put the bolts in, which I'm gonna get new ones. I'm not gonna use the ones that came with it because they are roached, but let me get all this stuff taken apart. And, uh, Harleys, they're ridiculous. All right, so yeah, let me get uh, get this crane out of here. We'll get you guys a better view of how the cab looks on the truck. I'm super, super excited.
Wow. It's really on there. Wow, this is a huge step. Huge step. And so, for whatever reason, probably because I couldn't get the bolt out, somebody cut a hole in the floor for the, ow, excuse you, for the, uh, for the mount, but it's not, it's not too far off. I'm gonna have to shimmy it around a little bit, make it line up, but boy, is this exciting or what? Finally got the cab on the truck. It's a little cluttered over here, so don't mind. But man, that looks awesome. I might, if it's not gonna rain, have to take this off the blocks and roll it outside today. Mount the turbo up. Oh man, this is exciting. This is so exciting. The uh, cab hasn't been on this on this chassis. It's been on and off a couple times. Um, when I first got the LS, I mocked it up, uh, put the cab on. Honestly, because I was bored and I uh, rolled it outside and it looked awesome. But this, oh man, I'll have to mock up the new valve covers, put the intake on. This thing's going to look sweet outside. Wow. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's really going to do it for this video. Short, sweet, to the point. Got the cab on, uh, set on, you know, the cab is set on. Um, is there a couple things I could have done with the cab off to make my life easier? Absolutely. But you know what? We're here. Um, pretty much everything underneath the cab is good to go. Crossover pipes on, like I said, trannies in, bolted in, brake lines are tightened. Um, you know, the stuff, the accessible stuff, obviously the fuel lines aren't done, but that'll be easy. I really didn't want to do the fuel lines until I got the cab on, so I knew how to properly route them when it came up to the firewall and all that stuff. Um, but this thing is killer. I am so happy. Very happy. Um, so yeah, if I end up rolling this thing outside, I'll take a video of that, um, obviously. And if I do that, you'll see it right after this. So um, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this thing, you guys wanna see it? Rowdy. Boom. Even the dog likes it. Look at this unit. The dog too. Look at this. Woo. This thing is so low. I can literally see straight over the cab and I'm like 5'10". I should have put my valve covers on that I have. I'll put the valve covers on. We are back. All right, we got the valve covers on. They're just set on there, so they're not bolted or anything, but totally changes the way this truck looks. Look at those beautiful Motion Raceworks valve covers. Oh my goodness. The camera's a little dirty. It's got, uh, it'll have a catch can attached to it somewhere over here probably, but Look at this unit. The only thing, I, I'm glad I mocked this up. Um, I'm going to have to add a little bit of an exhaust pipe to get this out a little bit because it's pretty close. This obviously isn't the final resting point. Um, but yeah, this is just, it's, it's too close. So I think if I extend it, it'll be good. Obviously, this isn't the final spot. You know, I'm going to tie the dump into the exhaust. But it'll be intercooled and all that stuff. If it wasn't intercooled, it wouldn't be a problem because it fits just fine. But how about that, huh? Still so much left to do on this project, but look at this unit. Look at it. It's so low. Man, this is a cool truck. This is a cool truck. Next on the list, maybe mock up some fuel lines. Figure out what I need to do. Still gonna add oil and all sorts of stuff, but man, this is a huge step. I am so, so happy. The firewall, it's hard to tell because it's black, so you don't really get a good, a good look at it. On my GoPro, it doesn't look that great, but I mean, man, it just looks 
so good. What do you think, buddy? Do you think it looks good? Yeah? Cool. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, something quick, short, to the point. Um, big progress. Cab's on. Cab is on. We're getting closer. <laughs> really close. Not really, not really close, but we're getting there. So, all right, thanks for watching. Hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have 400 subscribers. I think I'm at 397 right now, last time I checked, which was this morning, um, which I haven't really checked in a while. So it's cool to have the channel keep growing a little bit, but yeah, hopefully I can get you guys some more videos soon. Um, and with that being said, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.